Ho ho tabletop fans, ho ho game modelers, ho ho war gamers. It's tabletop Lenny again, and uh, I want to give you some insights about how to paint your terrain. What you see is a uh, hill combined with a uh, wall segment, and this is a palm tree. You can uh, put it on and put it off. And uh, as you can see, uh, I just started to make some. Uh, paint works on it. Um, there are mostly black tones in it and here I just started to mix some uh, different brownish tones in to uh, to give it a variety of uh, different colors that belong to the range of brown and ochre and something like this. And um, here, the first coats of paint were made with uh, ju just simple black paint with a big brush, like uh, this one or like that one. These are two brushes that I use for, for dirty jobs like dry brushing or priming. And uh, then I started with some uh, water diluted paints to uh, with washing techniques, by the way, if you want, to give uh, the the terrain some uh, different uh, aspects. Here are some parts where some brighter brown tone, then there are some darker ones to give it more variety, which makes makes it more interesting and also more realistic. For the paint job itself, I uh, use acrylic colors. These are simple acrylic colors to uh, mix with uh, wall paints. And uh, yeah, I use this uh, more or less for, for, for the whole terrain pieces. And for some jobs, uh, if you go more in the details, you can use uh, artist colors like this Schminker or something like this. They have, uh, they have much more pigments in them, but they are a little bit more expensive. But you can dilute these ones with uh, uh, water and so you get more or less the same uh, the same, uh, yeah, the same quality of paint uh, and, and the same amount of paint. And if you buy those ones, I'm not sure which one is really cheaper. And uh, yeah, after base coating the terrain piece, blacken it to give it the the deeps and uh, the feeling of 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 an heavy terrain piece because it's a uh, hill and it's a stone quarter wall. Uh, I continue with uh, dry brushing techniques to. Uh, hold out the, the structure and uh, for this I use my old dry brushing uh, brushes and here I will start here to go on with uh, some grey tones to, uh, to, to, to paint uh, the walls, the, stein, the stone quarter walls and um, I will also do some washing techniques to, to make some quarters look different because Nothing in, 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 in the nature or in the real life is, is similar. Only things that came that were made by machines are, uh, are, are identical. All things that you made from natural uh, materials are also a little bit different. So it looks more realistic and better if you uh, change the color of the stones sometimes. The same here with uh, with uh, with uh, with the rock segments go into a grayish tone. Um, I match the the, the, the painting scheme which I use for the jungle temple and for the wall segments. Of course, this is uh, one commission, and uh, this is one set of terrain, and all belongs together, so uh, they should fit properly together. Yeah, and yeah, these are on the other side. These paints are just practical. Uh, practical because you can shake them then you open them this one is unopenable and you get uh, a nice small amount of page, uh, paint which is just ideal to uh, have the dry brushing done and so I start with some uh, dark tones for the dry brushing some, uh, some some dark brown for the for the mud parts and then I do this uh, brighter brown and afterwards I will give some parts some highlight with this more yellowish brown and then I will mix it with white to give it the end highlights and afterwards I 
think about to give it some washes and from part to part. Same method with the stone quarters and more or less with painting the whole terrain. And yeah, I just will start with a can of paint which is difficult to open as you mentioned a moment before. Perhaps. And yeah, here it comes.